uh, Kirkcombe Peninsula. The French came around here with troop ships in 1798. The sand hills of Calistila and Lackenstrand. Many tourists come here. They can swim when it's tidal and they can do sand yachting when the tides out. The lighter aircraft landed here in the 1940s. And they had the local trips and shark flights. legend about the fisherman he met um, crook on glass on the banks of the Clonalhan River. The salmon legend. Now this area here is tidal. In the foreground is the castle of Castle Lacken. It belonged to William Bork in 1585, to Egan's in the 17th century, Roger Palmer, later on in the 17th century, and also James Cuff, and in the 18th century, Sir Charles Knox, in the 1820s. It's in ruins uh, today. It was in operation in the 1920s. Ernest McCormick lived here, Thomas Garvin lived here, Thomas Lotney, uh, eventually owned it and now it is in the hands of the Rooney family. It was rifled and pillaged in the 1920s. In the background, the sand hills of Karasjila. Kilogiri village. This road was here before, ten years at least, before the famine. Now the weather was hazy, so the photography isn't great on this particular day. Barry Franco is down in that area. Little's Church. It was here from 1411 um, until 1843. This is a drone townland, striped in the 1930s. Lissadrone West. Many artefacts and relics were found here uh, in the last century and even in the early part of this century. On the top of that distilled hill in the fog there is a Bronze Age burial. 4,000 years old. <coughs> the gazebo. We think it was built in 1794. It was used as a landmark. Uh, it was on the estate of Sir Charles Knox on the domain. It was hit by lightning and repaired by Thomas Hines. It is 382 feet over sea level. 
spill from local stone. Four archways. There's an inscription here. Sea bear, or S, which means Stauntons, and Sea bear, which means Castle Bear, and 1794. Castle Town and Beltra villages. years old. So there was a civilization here a couple of thousand years ago. In the background, Nakbaha Hill, planted with pines in the 1970s. We are back at the gazebo again. Inside here, a bronze axe was found. It's called a, soc a socketed bronze axe head uh, in 1934 by Jimmy Linet. It's now in the museum. They uh, dated it around 700 BC. And there was a sharpening stone. The sharpening stone, they don't think it would be at all as old. They had no date for it. It was found along with the socketed bronze axe head. Now there was another one found here by John James McLaughlin um, in 1929 in the Castletown Bog. A flat bronze axe head. a megalithic tomb, five to six thousand years old, in a collapsed state. A burial. It was excavated last year by a team from University College Dublin, headed by Margaret Byrne. Down here are uh, some foundations of pre-bog houses, there are about three or four in this area. Townland of Ratlaka. <laughs> now there's a Bronze Age burial on the summit of this hill here, much like those found in Carrickiel down in County Sligo. They're dated, I think, about 4,000 years old. Now 
in here are the sites of two pre bog houses near the village of Nokbaha. That's one. And that's the other one there, the raised mound. Shions, two other Bronze Age burials. <coughs> now that was the old village of Nokbaha. It had five or six houses in the 1930s called the Pachin village. Most of them emigrated. Castle Town Bog by John James McLaughlin in 1929. Now these are the Red Doors, Castle Lacken, main entrance to the castle. Not the main entrance, but the servants and servants' entrance, the bridge and Gary Franco. First casualty of Humbert's army lost his life around here, or died. There were French ambassadors here, one in 1887, Guiton, 88, Boucher, and um, Combal, 90 I think. Very Franco, Frenchman's Garden. An old road here long before the famine. This is the Protestant Church of Ireland, or Church of Ireland, from, dated from 1411 to 1843. It was Little's church. Parson Little officiated here. Catholics are buried in this graveyard, and this enclosure here are the tombs of two generations of Matt Flens and Pew and um, Little's wife and little son. Little lived, and um, this um, mansion was torn down about two years ago. And this is a picture of it while it was the ruins were still standing. He wrote an account of the French landing, 1798. It was called Little's Diary. He lived here, and that was his church. This is a drawn house, the ruins of it. It was there before 1837. The Pews lived here. Well, the last that was in it was Matt Flynn, then his father Matt Flynn, then Pews, and before that Richard Knox. Richard Knox would be here in the 17th century. Kilogary Church of Ireland, 
This is a distant view of Lacken Parish, Strand. And Lacken comes from the Irish word Lecken, Lecken Creek, on the cheek or face of a hillside. So it's not on the level. That's how the name came about. Farming district. Kelogary. In the wooded area. Caramore, two houses, the new and the old, the old and the trees. Caramore townland, Barnelec, Barnhill. This is the Kilgarry Church, Church of Ireland. The date on it is 1843. The roof was there until the 1940s, I'm told. Celebrations were held here for commemorating 1798. French ambassadors Guiton, Boucher, and Combel were here. <coughs> the Lacan Catholic Church, built in 1969. Colonel Thomas Sophia. Sophia was here on three or four occasions. The entrance to the old parochial house built in 1927. The Cleaver School, which is now in Castle Lacken, built on the site of the old church which was built before the famine, the old Catholic church in the Sandy Gern. Strand. The parochial house, built in 1927. Castle Lacken, the main wall going away down there. The new school. has taken away here and the sandy bags are wearing away. Now these are the sand hills of Carastila townlands. In the 1940s uh, Robert McGregor had many rabbits here and he exported them, uh, dead ones, to England at the time of the war when meat was scarce. Then for a time cattle and graze it now rabbits are coming back again to it. Some holiday homes built here by Pappy Linus. Townland of Castletown Beltra. Moving into Lacking. Most of it built on the hillside. Main entrance to Castle Lacking Castle. 
ruins of it. This may have been the first part of it here. This box like structure up until the 1820s maybe. Telegary Lissadron Caramore Townlands. Fawhill Townland. Coming from the ancient Irish word Underwood. Probably was an oak wood here. Now there's a standing stone here. We'll be looking at it later. And a holy well called St. Patrick's Well. Jan and Ophie was down at it in 19, uh, 1987. Some new houses have gone up here. And this was also the village where Macrory was born. Michal Macrory. Served as a gardener for Paul Pierce and wrote some Irish books. The entrance to Caramore House. Well, there are two of them in it now, the new and the old. The new one houses the McCormick family. And the old one houses the Buck family. Before that, two generations of McCormicks. And before that, Palmers. They were there in 1798. So John Palmer was here. Another view of Chalmore House, Georgian architecture. that little hole in it, the wicket, where workmen entered to do their day's work. Many of them from Fohill. Cornfields in the Calmore estate. Clunallahan River runs down here and the village of Clunallahan. Allahan is an old name for a burial. village on the hillside in townlands. Marsh down there which is tidal. post office. It is now Bides, before that it was McGurns for a few generations and the post office was here since the 1890s, before that it was down at Black and Strand, a new house going up on the site of where the old post office once was. Roads to Kilcommon and Killala. The road to Schoolhouse. Caramore National School built in 1933 on the McCormick Estate.
wall of the McCormick estate, the Matoori Monument in Fohan, built in 1986, 50 years after he had died. He was born here. A gardener for Pierce involved in the 1916 rebellion and a great Gael Gore, an Irish speaker. He wrote a few Irish books. Michael Rogers would be his name. A village well, now obsolete. Pipe water is used instead. The foal, standing stone, called Lac d'Albini, going back to the Druid's times, I'd say. Used to divide two territories in the 5th century, and maybe before that, St. Patrick's Well, a holy well. This was the main road. Most of the people from Rathlacken came up the strand and up this road to Kilala. Lacken strand. We've seen these villages before, Red Latin, Belcher. Down here at the stand, the post office was until the 1890s. Robinsons before that, Jack Mohans, and before that, a business family called Neelands had it. Improvements have been made on this down through the years, and close by are guest houses, the John Hines guest house is there, called the Humbert Lodge. Humbert Stone is here. It was brought up here in the 1920s by Peter Nealon, the man that owned the public house here at the time. It was the first stone that Humboldt is supposed to have stepped on when he landed at Kilcommon. A tourist attraction. Kilala Bay. Ox Mountains in a scroll in the background. The football pitch, newly opened this year called the Joseph Lotney Pitch, townland of Castle McGee. And Cashel. Centre, the local community centre. It was a school built in 1892. Cardinal O'Fee opened this community centre some years ago. It was before that it was called St Cummins Hall, a dance hall. The Kilcummin Beacon is on these rocks here, called the Bone Rock and it was erected in 1985. It has a solar cell to provide the blink at night time. Bessie's bear. Bessie Monley. She died 
this pub was supposed to be here in 1798, a pub like it, attached to fair. Coast Guard Station. Built from 18, um, after 1798, until about 1837-38, until the 1890s they were building path pieces onto it. Kilcommon Coast Guard Station. They are gone since the 1920s. Now the slipper was built 1898, the old pier there 1929, and the new one 1981. The year of the French film was made down here in 1981. Monument to the Humbert Landing. Maud Guy McBride was here in the 1890s, trying to stop some evictions. The plaque there commemorates her visit to the area. <coughs> Shoreline along the common, St. Commons Church. It's not the original one, the original one would have been made of timber. This is supposed to date sometime around the 8th century, maybe the 9th, 10th, they're not too sure. St. Commons burial between these two standing stones. There's an inscription on the stone in the centre. Bach tombs. And uh, a wall there along the shore to keep the tide out. Some stone tables built of quiver stone here on the right to facilitate tourists. The shrine built in 1982. Mass is usually celebrated here on the last day, Sunday in July. The well, wall and little house where the stations are done in mounds was built here around 1932. A common village. Camp, they call it the Coast Guard Camp. It was here from 1939 to 1945. Members of the army were here keeping watch. Now, th down there, the first detachment of Humboldt's force landed and camped down there for the night in 1798. Get come and head in the distance. giant slip of Cleaver Head there on the corner. There is a legend attached to that. And the Ratlacken coastline. Blacken Bay. Uh, Bailon Kampa or Karen In 1798 the French had a recruiting camp here and the year of the French took some scenes here for their film. They found some suitable old thatched houses here. Brescia, home stone, situated, situated in the townland of Brescia, going back to about maybe the 5th century. It would be dividing two territories, 
and a son of Auli, a grandson of Auli, called Carabre, is supposed to be buried here. There were druids around here too at the time. And at the crossroads up here is a druid's judgment seat, which we can see now. Druid's judgment seat. Ratfran Abbey. Dominicans were here built by the Exeters of Strade 1274 or Jordans lasted until about six, 1600 scenes from the year of the French were made here in 1981 Summerhill House it was here in 1798 Burke was the owner it, uh, later it belonged to Thomas Palmer and before the 1920s, it belonged to the McCormicks. Ernest McCormick lived here for a time. Summer Hill House, the roof was taken off it uh, five or six years ago. Scenes taken from the year of the French, 1981, showing the landing and some of the extras that took part in it. Here's Carbon Moor Court Tomb. It's a megalithic tomb, about five to six thousand years old. And it has two courts. One here and one at the back. So there would be a civilization here about five to six thousand years old. Uh, Five to six thousand years ago, Palmerstown Bridge. It was here in 1798, Palmerstown River. It was here in 1798. General Humbert crossed here. Now it has eleven eyes, built by the Palmers. Probably Thomas Pamela. Now we can see a fishery here at Palmerstone Bridge. It was established by Doherty's of Newport in 1988. Salmon fryer hatched out here and put into nets later in the sea out around Westport and Newport and they are raised into salmon. Then they are killed and exported. Here we see some of the tanks here. Now this is the old mill. Here in 1856, maybe before that, Ernest Knox said it. It was working here up until the 1940s, corn mill, for grinding corn. I saw it in action myself. Morris Knox, I think, was the last owner of this mill. Palmas Town River. Anyway, Palmstown Creamery, established in 1957 by the local farmers. Joe O'Neill was the chairman. One of the gates from the Castle Ray House. This is the house of Dominic Maguire, Palmerstown. This is the fort uh, where the first castle was at Castle Ray, belonged to the Burks. It was here in 1485, destroyed 
1670 by the Cromwellian forces. Home of the Noxus, Boxfurst. And this was the second castle. Castle Ray House it was called, built after 1670 and lasted until the 1930s. Pam's Townhouse. Now, this wasn't the real Pam's Townhouse. The real house was burned down in 1798 by the rebels. And these were the uh, sheds of barrenness that were done up. This is the driveway, the avenue, to today's Pam's Townhouse. The bridge, the river, the mill. Road to Burning Castle and to Refran. Picture of Castle Ray House around nineteen twenty eight before nineteen thirty. The gatehouse to Castle Ray House. Another picture of what Castle Ray House looked like. Gateway coming in. Mm -hmm. 